Amazon and their voice assistant are ready for the holidays and I'm going to show you 18 different ways that you can get your kids giggling or enjoying the holiday season with their voice assistant. Hello automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life and today I'm going to take the frustration out of automation and put some fun into your kids with the Christmas season as we roll through a number of different ways that Amazon, their voice assistant, and their overall set of products can be used to bring a little joy into the holidays into your kids. So I'm going to show you the first thing that I think every kid wants to do, which is talk to Santa. The call Santa skill is one of the best skills I've seen on the whole store here from Amazon it is so well done it looks like a real call is being made and the animations are fantastic and it's a random experience every time so you just have to get your kid to make that call or you can make it for them start the experience and then they'll do it a bunch of times after that call Santa <laughs> One of Santa's elves. It's in time. My sleigh and I are getting ready to go for a spin. Me me. You see, Slay gets our power to fly. Amazon Storytime is an absolutely amazing feature to these smart displays and really the smart speakers in general. And this is truly what we can see come out of Amazon when they really try and create a great experience. That is absolutely what this is. So install that skill, open it up, and you will see the ability to go into a whole holiday set of stories. And they are all wonderfully done. Open Amazon Storytime. Welcome back to Amazon Storytime. You can spin the magic wheel, or you can tell me your favorite Here's wrapping paper by Teresa Julian, presented by Amazon Storytime. Who's doing that? Is someone si Here's Dragon's Hanukkah by Annie Auerbach, presented by Amazon Storytime. Now, if you want something a little quicker, you can just ask for Amazon to tell you a Christmas story. These are one to two minutes and they are really well done as well, but they're not a specialized skill and they don't have a bunch of extra production in them, but they're very good readings of a lot of different stories. The other thing you can do if you want kind of a specific one is there's a very good Twas the Night Before Christmas application or skill, sorry, inside of the library there and it's a well-read very plain read through of that christmas story and i have to mention this because my kid thinks poop is hilarious and i think all young kids do but you can install the santa claus poop skill and they will read you a number i i was surprised how many there actually were of these little poems or songs they call them uh about poop and santa and they're kind of all mixed together with the regular stories you would expect. Ask your voice assistant how many days until Christmas and this is something that I think every kid wants to know all the time. Well teach them how to ask here and I think you'll stop getting that question. How many sleeps until Christmas? Christmas is in one week, five days, and 11 hours on Wednesday December 25th 2019. Once they're done that Show them how to ask where Santa is on the voice assistant and you will get an intro into what is actually called the NORAD Santa Tracker skill. Now, that'll just get put into the voice assistant and then you'll have access to this going forward. And what it brings up are some facts and some of these facts are really funny uh, and, and they're quite varied. There's a lot of them there. So the kids are just able to ask, yeah, tell me another fact, tell me another Christmas fact time and time again. Where's Santa? Santa is at the North Pole. There are 12 days left until he makes his Yuletide journey around the world. Would you like a fact from the top secret Santa files? Yes. Santa's sleigh is a versatile, all-weather, multi-purpose, vertical short takeoff and landing vehicle. Then I think it's time to turn your child loose with just asking some basic questions to the voice assistant. And they can ask things about Santa Claus or they can ask what their favorite reindeer is. And just go through a list of questions about 
Christmas. But probably the biggest thing that kids want to do is they want to laugh and they want to kind of play. And so you can ask the voice assistant to open up the advent calendar and this will give you a daily joke that does change every day. Now from there you can ask for specific topic jokes and this is one of the great things that Amazon has done with their voice assistant. But so you can ask for snowman jokes or Santa Claus jokes or just Christmas jokes and you will get those specifically. One thing that all kids want to do and mine has been on me about this for a while now is to make a Santa wish list and there's actually a dear Santa Christmas skill here that you can go ahead put into your voice assistant and as the kids use this skill you have to teach them how to do this one at first once they say something it will actually be sent to you and that's a really interesting thing it goes by email and it will be sent to you so once you show them how to do this you might be surprised how many little emails you're getting with some christmas gift ideas open dear santa who oh, 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 oh welcome to dear santa you can request a gift be added to your wish list just say please bring me and the item that you would like Please bring me more YouTube subscribers. Your gift request has been sent to my workshop to be added to your wish list. Now, what kid doesn't love visuals and what kid doesn't love the Christmas movies? Now, there is a great way through the shows to just go into the Prime videos and you will find a ton of Christmas movies that you kind of probably remember growing up with as a kid. There's a bunch of Christmas cartoon classics there on the Prime Video service. So you just go into that and right away you're going to see that and movies like Elf that I think we all laughed at through high school or a little after high school depending on your age but you know those Christmas types of movies are all there and you can do the same thing by searching with your Amazon Fire TV stick you can go ahead and just search for Christmas movies with that and you will find a ton of content there and if you've paired it and made a home theater set up then it's going to be quite the experience for your kid to watch some of those old classic cartoon movies this is an amazing skill to just put into a daily routine especially during the holidays here and it's there for 80 minutes or you can put on the fireplace it sits there for about 70 or 80 minutes as well there are a lot of skills called Santa Claus but if you get the right one and I think you'll be able to tell here from the picture on the screen then you're able to get this little walkthrough of whether or not the kid is naughty or nice and there's like 15 questions and when I tried it on my kid he was kind of taken aback with how many questions were coming at him but he managed to get through it open Santa Claus Santa is making his list checking it twice and wants to know if you've been naughty or nice ready to find out do you believe in Santa Claus? Yes. Have you said any bad words this week? Yes. Was it on purpose? Yes. One of the great lessons of the holiday season is it's not all about you, kid. And you know what? You can go ahead and donate to Toys for Tots. And there's a number of other donations here, but this is a great and kind of easy one to set up. What you need to have is the one-click settings all set up on Amazon.com. And then as you just say this, you can then go ahead and make a donation to that. Now, you might want to think about those one-click settings after you've taught a kid how to make a donation you may end up with a few in there after that. What do you want for Christmas? I'd like to travel through space and maybe through time and a dictionary to help with my rhymes. Music is obviously a huge part of the holidays and you can ask the voice assistant to just roll through a number of different Christmas carols. Deck the halls with boughs of holly, fa la 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 la. And finally, if you have connected a default music service, you can just ask the voice assistant to play Christmas music or you can get your kid to do it and it will open up your default music service from there. Now, I did a whole video on the Google side of things here and we showed a number of different features and they look different on that set of uh, smart displays or smart speakers. So you can go ahead, watch that. That's up on screen. Otherwise, guys, happy holidays. Thanks for watching. And of course, don't hate, automate.